In this tutorial, I'll show you how to import and render a SVG logo that was exported from a bitmap image. I'll post a link to this tutorial's reference images in the description below. We'll be using a free vector image editing application called Inkscape and Photoshop. Please open the bitmap image file in Inkscape. Let's go to Path and Trace Bitmap. Let's press OK and close the window. Let's save the file and open it in Blender. Let's remove the default cube and go to the top viewport. Let's import the SVG logo image. Nothing? Let's go to Inkscape and try tracing the bitmap again. Let's open it in Blender. Let's convert this curve to mesh. Let's Alt select this edge loop and duplicate it with Shift D. Press P to separate by selection. Let's move the origin to geometry. Let's duplicate and scale it. We need to join these two edge loops with Ctrl J and Bridge Edge loop them in edit mode. Let's select the main logo, tab to go to edit mode, and press L to select the middle part only. Let's separate that logo and delete the outer parts. If too much vertices bothers you for some reason, just go to edit mode and press X to do a limited dissolve. But this will lower the quality of the mesh, so I wouldn't do that here. Let's select this outer edge loop with Alt Select and separate that as well. We can go to Edit Mode and fill it. Let's extrude these faces. We can add a new material for the background and there's our Batman logo. Let's create a background and use the noise node to add some details.
Please change the noise setting any way you like to give the best looking result. This ground will serve as Joker's vat of acid, and as you can see, it does nothing to anything associated with Batman. Let's create a light source plane with an emission shader. After duplicating the plane, we need to make sure they're not using the same material. Let's do the rest of the usual render setup with the Cycles Renderer, Filmic, Curves, Denoise and 64 samples. Let's lower other light settings as well. Let's open the rendered image in Photoshop. We can adjust the levels like this. Let's use the smoke brush to add some details in a new layer. This is the end result. If we change the noise settings well, we can make better looking scene like this. This is the end of the SVG logo import tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching.